Hello and welcome everyone. Today I was going to attempt to repair this instrument and I thought it could be interesting to share it with you. So here is the result. I apologize in advance for any mistakes that I may make and having said that, let's see what's wrong with it. The instrument is an old HP LCR meter, model 4275A. It can measure an unknown impedance connected to its terminals. This particular model covers the frequency range from 10 kHz to 10 MHz. Despite it being quite old, the service manual is still available at the manufacturer's website. Let's power it up and see what happens. Well, it successfully passes all the initial set tests, however, it looked it look like after the initial set settings are completed, the instrument holds and the trigger lamp does not begin flashing. I don't think it's because it's missing a test fixture, but we can connect two VNCs to the input terminals and see if it makes any difference. This is the connection that I made with the two BNC cables. The shields are already shorted together inside the instrument. So now it should measure an open circuit. But the problem still persists. Before taking any measurements, let's take a quick overview of the simplified block diagram. In order to measure an unknown impedance, the instrument applies a voltage of a certain frequency to this branch, which consists in a no impedance and a shunt resistor. Then it measures the voltage at both, at both components. Well, actually it measures a phasor voltage. And finally, by Ohm's law, the unknown impedance is simply the, rate, the ratio of both, of both measurements. One of the boundaries between the analog and digital parts of the instrument is the analog to digital converter. This instrument has a dual slope ADC, similarly to a digital multimeter. So in order to begin troubleshooting the, the analog to digital board, we can start measuring the ramp voltage in the integrating capacitor. We are also going to measure some signals in the zero crossing detection comparator. Particularly we are going to measure the analog input, a stroke input and the digital output. During normal operation, when the set test number one is selected, we should see a waveform, a waveform like this in the capacitor voltage and the comparator should detect the zero crossing points. Here we have the voltage in the integrating capacitor. This voltage is amplified and clamped before being applied to the comparator. In purple we show the stroke input and finally channel 4 is the digital output of the comparator. As we can see, the capacitor voltage is not as expected and I think the problem is the comparator, because its output is always high in spite of the level of its input, which sometimes is positive and sometimes is negative. Well, I've just changed the comparator of the dual slope ADC. Here it's the old one. So now it's the moment of truth. Let's see if this was the problem. Well, this is looking good so far. Now the trigger lamp flashes as we expected. Let's repeat the same self-test, which was self-test number one. And look what we have. These are the same signals as before, but now the voltage in the integrating capacitor so sh shows a much nicer triangular waveform. 
time to put everything back again. Before ending the video, let's measure a couple components. I don't have the proper text fixture, but these BNC cables should be okay. So first, let's put a resistance. Well, it's a hundred K resistance. Yeah. Now let's try a capacitor. Five nanofarads. And finally let's put the obligatory inductor a hundred and fifty micro Henry's and face 90 degrees well I hope you enjoyed the video feel free to Leave any suggestions in the comments below and see you next time.